Welcome back to Good Day, where we love local and do our part to help people locally. And that's why Friday, March 22nd, we are asking you to roll up your sleeve and donate a pint of blood. Rachel Hefner Zawadney is here from the American Red Cross with how easy and important it is. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for being here. Thanks. So we've done this for a number of years now. Every year we have our annual WTOL 11 blood drive, and we do it in Maumee generally. Yep. And this year, though, I feel like there's an even bigger importance or a need. I hear I, I hear it coming out of the Red Cross quite a bit about the need for blood donation. So we were in, you know, a major appeal um, in January. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and part of that, you know, we, we come off of the lull of the holidays where people are traveling and it's hard to, to get folks in um, to do that. And then, you know, cold and flu season, mm -hmm. you know, plays a part in that also. So we went through a major appeal like the first couple months of the year, but people answered. Like, I, like our February numbers were fantastic. So, so thank you for those of you that, you know, are annoyed with our phone calls, but they do work, you know, and, and certainly, you know, somebody needs to be transfused every two seconds. So any patient that goes in the hospital, one of seven of them is going to need a blood transfusion. And so we, we need to do our part to make sure those hospitals are adequately supplied. Yeah, because it's not like blood can just stay good forever. You know, no. there's a shelf life on this. So if it doesn't, you know, you're going to need to turn that over, you know, every, every so often. Every right about 42 days. Mm -hmm. And and uh, we can't manufacture it. It has to come from a human. Right. So it, it takes the kindness of people in the community. For someone who has never donated before, explain the process to them. I mean, if they sign up for our blood drive, what is that going to be like for them? So um, the process itself takes about 45 minutes. Um, and, you know, you'll show up. We want to make sure that you show up and you're feeling well that day. Make sure you have breakfast or lunch, depending on what time your appointment is. And we'll go through a little bit of health history to, you know, make sure that you do qualify. Um, we're going to do a hemoglobin test on you to make sure you have enough iron in your blood, okay. temperature, blood pressure, and if all things great, you know, we'll line you up with one of our amazing phlebotomists and it takes, you know, not everybody donates very quickly. It's not a race, okay, <laughs> um, but, you know, right about 15, 20 minutes to donate okay. um, and then, you know, you'll go, you'll have your, you know, not, you know, pints and pie, but <laughs> you'll have your cookies and um, some juice. And the cool thing is, is we have a blood donor app where you can do a lot of the health history in the morning of your donation. It kind of saves a little bit of that time, okay. but at the end of the donation, you can track your blood and see, oh, it went to this hospital, either stayed local, it went somewhere else. So, so for the first time wow. donors, it kind of closed that circle, which is, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow. I didn't, and I didn't even know that yeah. that was a thing yeah. that you can track. That's very, very cool and you talk about you know there might be an emergency where maybe someone you know god forbid is in a car crash or right. something they need that right. blood but then there are also people who maybe have a chronic condition yeah. of some sort and we don't even realize that the blood isn't necessarily just for emergency situations, but it can help people. Our cancer live. patients, you mm -hmm. know, need platelets. So there are so many different circumstances and illnesses where that one donation that can be divided into three different products, whether it's plasma, platelets, or your whole blood, can be used for different reasons. And it's, I mean, it certainly is, it's a small time to give, and it can make such a huge impact on people that you love, people that you've never met, but it's life-saving. Yeah, and you never know when you might be the person on the other end. And yes, you who do needs that? Know. And you right. don't want to think about that, but you know, it, it, there, it is a reality. It is. And you know, if you give, it could come, somebody can give back to you Absolutely. as well. That could happen. So um, we, we talk about different types of blood people have. Mm -hmm. Does it matter what type you are? You know, I, I know there's some that are a little bit more, you know, coveted. Than a little more types. sought after, yes. like our o, our o people, <laughs> yes. you know, because that is the most universal trait transfusable. So our O people, if you don't know what your people are like, well, I don't know what my blood type is. Well, the beauty is, is that once you donate, um, you'll get your blood donor card and it'll tell you what your blood type is also. So those that have a little bit more of those rare blood types are the ones that may get a few more phone calls than the other. <laughs> but certainly, um, if you don't know your blood type, that means that doesn't mean anything. Still try to donate, uh, make that appointment. And we do c encourage you to make an appointment. It does make our drives run a little bit more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And so we make it easy for you too, because you can text GIVE to 419-248-1100 and we'll send you uh, the link for you to, there it is. We could send you the, the information on how you can get signed up. And you know, you said maybe fill out some of that paperwork yeah. ahead of time, fill out that questionnaire ahead of time. And we really appreciate everyone who comes out. And 
and if it is your first time coming out, you say, I want to do this, and then you're hooked, you know? And then then you'll you're you'll, you'll get uh, those phone calls. You will, consistently. <laughs> How often can you donate? Uh, every 56 days. So, um, yeah, so you will. It's nice because it's you can actually schedule your next appointment before they even put you on the bed so it's like hey you know you're you're qualified today let's mm -hmm. get you on the schedule and getting into that cadence um, is is really kind of an easy way it's a no-brainer mm -hmm. it's out of sight out of mind and we'll send you reminders you um, guys will take we'll, care of it we'll make sure we that we will find anything. you we will find you um, <laughs> certainly we will find you so so this is next Friday the 22nd at in Maumee at the Methodist Church there so get yourself signed up text us to get that information and book your schedule your appointment and we thank you in advance and Rachel thank you for being here today we thank you for having me yep. thank you for donating absolutely yeah well when Toledo's most local fun and positive 9 a.m. show continues it's time to get on the bus to the last stop on Market Street a show for the entire family at the Croswell, a preview when Good Day returns.